फिजियोज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन लेजर थेरेपी ओके सो दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन लेजर थेरेपी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन एंड फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ लेजर ओके सो माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अंडर द क्लासिफिकेशन द लेजर इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू फोर क्लासेस एंड मोर अप्रोप्रिएटली फाइव क्लासेस ओके सो क्लास वन क्लास टू क्लास थ्री एंड थ्री इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड टू थ्री ए एंड थ्री बी एंड लास्ट इज फोर एंड फाइव ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द पावर इफेक्ट एंड यूसेज ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पावर हेयर क्लास वन लेजर इज हैविंग वेरी लो पावर ओके सो इट इज लो पावर क्लास टू लो अप टू वन मिली वॉट एंड थ्री ए लो मीडियम दैट इज अप टू फाइव मिली वॉट एंड थ्री बी अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड मिली वॉट एंड फोर्थ एंड फाइव आर ग्रेटर देन फाइव हंड्रेड मिली वॉट ओके सो वेरी लो अप टू वन अप टू फाइव अप टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड मोर देन फाइव हंड्रेड मिली वॉट नेक्स्ट इज इफेक्ट नो हार्मुल इफेक्ट ऑन आई और स्किन एंड नेक्स्ट इज सेफ ऑन स्किन एंड आईज आर प्रोटेक्टेड बाय ए वर्जन रिस्पॉन्स ओके दैट इज इट इज नॉट मच हार्मफुल फॉर अवर आईज यस बट द थ्री ए एंड थ्री बी व्यूइंग बाय ऑप्टिकल एड मे बी हजार्डस एंड व्यूइंग मे बी हजार्डस दैट इज दीज कैन बी हार्मफुल फॉर अवर आईज सो वी नीड टू यूज स्पेसिफिक wavelength goggles okay the goggles are particularly designed to reflect the particularly uh, particular wavelength of the laser okay so as to protect our eyes and last is very hazardous even to skin and eye okay so even it is uh, falling on our skin yes skin can be damaged okay so no effect on skin and eye and safe on skin and eyes are also relatively safe here this is safe on skin but hazardous for eyes and last is it is problematic for skin as well as for eyes you say okay now you say laser pointer and barcode reader are made by class 1 laser and class 2 has less therapeutic use and used to produce pointers okay laser pointers and 3a and 3b they are used as therapeutic laser that is most commonly used laser so this 3a and 3b is important in physiotherapy use by while the fourth and fifth is destructive type of laser to give surgical incision okay destructive that is surgical incision via laser and next is the physiological effect okay so various researches are were constructed and are Uh, also uh, done nowadays regarding the physiological effect okay so this is the this is the most uh, we can say satisfactory uh, explanation regarding the physiological effect that i found and i want to explain it to you so laser have a number of photons this you already know so laser have photons these photons when fall on our skin definitely there will be reflection refraction absorption and scattering okay so these will occur also the visible red light is absorbed within mitochondria so this visible red light enter into our body cells and in the cell in particularly enter to mitochondria and mitochondria have cytochrome c oxidase okay cytochrome c oxy days which forms a proton gradient to produce calcium two positive reactive oxygen species and atp and all three things are very useful for us why because atp is important for energy production calcium positive to regulate the cell membrane permeability also it act as second messenger in the cell okay then reactive oxygen species they are, are they are producing very less amount so as they are effective because in excess amount they are harmful okay also ir light is absorbed at cell membrane okay so the laser which is close to the ir is ab absorbed at cell membrane which increase the permeability of calcium and again calcium form camp and reactive oxygen species which is very good 
for our cell that is increase the cellular activity okay so cellular activity and repair is increased single oxygen production that is ros next formation of protein gradient across cell membrane and across membrane of mitochondria that i have explained so here also a proton gradient is formed and here also proton gradient is formed that is calcium move inside and here also calcium move inside proton gradient is formed where at cell membrane and at mitochondria then physiological changes that is change in permeability increase atp and dna production then influence cell metabolism then activation of regulatory process and helping patient well being that is now patient will feel a uh, good that is have have the physiological effect and what are the effect that increase the increase that are increased to produce the physiological effect these things lead to an increase in the activity of macrophage fibroblast okay fibroblast produce lot of collagen okay which is important for the repair so these all things will help in the tissue repair and healing macrophage will come okay then fibroblast will produce collagen endothelocytes are stimulate keratinocytes are stimulate mast cell angiogenesis that is blood vessel formation definitely repairing is occurring that is angiogenesis is the process of formation of new blood vessel okay so healing will occur collagen synthesis uh, myofibroblast activity and serotonin is form so the net effect of all these things which are increased is more tissue repair while it decrease in bradykinin and activity of c fiber so c fiber are which fiber that are carrying the pain okay also bradykinin is an important important substance which is important in the pain perception so these are reduced so pain will be reduced so all these things what will do it will do increase healing okay it will increase healing while these all do all things what will do it will decrease the pain okay so this is the net effect of all the things that are occurring okay so in simple words i can say the laser radiation or the laser beam when fall on our skin surface definitely some amount of it will be reflected refracted scattered and absorbed that is natural and it will occur also the laser which is near to the visible that is red light absorbed by mitochondria in particularly in mitochondria it have cytochrome c oxidase which will form a proton gradient and increase atp ros and calcium also near to the ir it is absorbed at cell membrane level increase the calcium influx and increase the cyclic amp and reactive oxygen species and these all things are further important to increase the following factor that is macrophage will come and reduce the reduce the uh, reduce the uh, destruction and increase the healing process fibroblast will be stimulated blood vessels will be formed while the activity in c fiber is reduced so pain will be reduced so these things are very important to understand further the therapeutic effect okay another important thing regarding the physiological effect of laser is that we need to understand the arndt schulz law that is this law state that that the beneficial effect occur at a intensity above the threshold okay so whenever the intensity is above the threshold value definitely there will be some beneficial effect but this increase in beneficial effect with increasing intensity is up to a limit okay so as you can see in the diagram also as uh, the applied stimulation quality is increasing the benefit is increasing but after some time when the stimulation is very large okay that is at very large intensity the inhibitory effect occur that is beneficial effect do not occur okay so this is an another important three marks question regarding the laser that is which law is used in the physiological effect it is arndt schulz law so this is all about the classification and physiological effect in our next lecture we will we will move further so till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all